a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. 3-Point Field Goal A 3-point field goal is a field goal in a basketball game made from beyond the 3-point line, a designated arc surrounding the basket. A successful attempt is worth 3 points, in contrast to the 2 points awarded for field goals made within the 3-point line and the 1 point for each made free throw. The distance from the basket to the 3-point line varies by competition level. In the National Basketball Association the arc is 23 feet from the basket. In FIBA and the WNBA the arc is 6.75 meters from the basket. And in the National Collegiate Athletic Association the arc is 20 feet from the basket. In the NBA and FIBA slash WNBA, the three-point line becomes parallel to each sideline at the points where the arc is three feet from each sideline. As a result the distance from the basket gradually decreases to a minimum of 22 feet in the NCAA the arc is continuous for 180 degrees around the basket. There are more variations, in 3x3, three three, a fiber-sanctioned variant of the half-court 3-on-3 three three game, the three-point line exists, but shots from behind the line are only worth two points. All other shots are worth one point. History the three-point line was first tested at the collegiate level in a 1945 NCAA game between Columbia and Fordham, but it was not kept as a rule. At the direction of Abe Saperstein, the American Basketball League became the first basketball league to institute the rule in 1961. Its three-point line was a radius of 25 feet from the baskets, except along the sides. The Eastern Professional Basketball League followed in its 1963-64 season. The three-point shot later became popularized by the American Basketball Association after its introduction in the 1967-68 season. ABA Commissioner George Meekan stated the three-pointer would give the smaller player a chance to score and open up the defense to make the game more enjoyable for the fans. During the 1970s, the ABA used the three-point shot, along with the slam dunk, as a marketing tool to compete with the National Basketball Association. In the 1979-80 season, after having tested it in the previous preseason, the NBA adopted the three-point line despite the view of many that it was a gimmick. Chris Ford of the Boston Celtics is widely credited with making the first three-point shot in NBA history on October 12, 1979. Kevin Greedy of the Washington Bullets also made one on the same day. The sports international governing body, Fiber, introduced the three-point line in 1984, at a distance of 6.25 meters. The NCAA's Southern Conference became the first collegiate conference to use the three-point rule, adopting a 22-feet line for the 1988-81 season. Ronnie Carr of Western Carolina University was the first to score a three-point field goal in college basketball history on November 29, 1980. Over the following five years, NCAA conferences differed in their use of the rule and distance required for a three-pointer. The line was as close as 17 feet in the Atlantic Coast Conference, and as far away as 22 feet in the Big Sky Conference. Used in conference play, it was adopted by the NCAA for the 1986-87 men's season at 19 feet, and was first used in the NCAA tournament in 1987. In the same 1986-87 season, the NCAA adopted the three-pointer in women's basketball on an experimental basis, using the same 19 feet 9 and distance, and made its use mandatory beginning in 1987-88. In 2007, the NCAA lengthened the men's three-point distance to 20 feet, with the rule coming into effect at the beginning of the 2008-09 season. The NCAA women's three-point distance was moved to match the men's distance in 2011-12. American high schools, along with elementary and middle schools, adopted a 19-feet line nationally in 1987, a year after the NCAA. The NCAA used the fiber three-point line in the 2018 National Invitation Tournament. During the 1994-95, 1995-96, and 1996-97 seasons, the NBA attempted to address decreased scoring by shortening the distance of the line from 23 feet to a uniform 22 feet around the basket. From the 1997-98 season on, the NBA reverted the line to its original distance of. Ray Allen is currently the NBA all-time leader in career-made three-pointers with 2,973. In 2008, 
Fiber announced that the distance would be increased by 50 cm to 6.75 m, with the change being phased in beginning in October 2010. In December 2012, the WNBA announced that it would be using Fiber's distance, too, as of the 2013 season. The NBA has discussed adding a four-point line, according to President Rod Thorne. In the NBA, three-point field goals have become increasingly more frequent along the years, with effectiveness increasing slightly. The 1979-80 season had an average 2.23 point goals per game and 6.6 .6 attempts. The 1989-90 season had an average 4.83 point goals per game and 13.7 attempts. The 2009-10 season had an average 6.43 point goals per game and 18.1 attempts. The 2016-17 season had an average 9.73 point goals per game and 27.0 attempts. Rule specifications a three-point line consists of an arc at a set radius measured from the point on the floor directly below the center of the basket, and two parallel lines equidistant from each sideline extending from the nearest end line to the point at which they intersect the arc. In the NBA and fiber standard, the arc spans the width of the court until it is a specified minimum distance from each sideline. The three-point line then becomes parallel to the sidelines from those points to the baseline. The unusual formation of the three-point line at these levels allows players some space from which to attempt a three-point shot at the corners of the court. The arc would be less than two feet from each sideline at the corners if it was a continuous arc. In the NCAA and American high school standards, the arc spans 180 degrees around the basket, then becomes parallel to the sidelines from the plane of the basket center to the baseline. The distance of the three-point line to the center of the hoop varies by level. A player's feet must be completely behind the three-point line at the time of the shot or jump in order to make a three-point attempt. If the player's feet are on or in front of the line, it is a two-point attempt. A player is allowed to jump from outside the line and land inside the line to make a three-point attempt, as long as the ball is released in mid-air. An official raises his slash her arm with three fingers extended to signal the shot attempt. If the attempt is successful, he or she raises his slash her other arm with all fingers fully extended in manner similar to a football official signifying successful field goal to indicate the three-point goal. The official must recognize it for it to count as three points. Instant replay has sometimes been used. Depending on league rules, the NBA, WNBA, FIBA and the NCAA specifically allow replay for this purpose. In NBA, FIBA, and WNBA games, video replay does not have to occur immediately following a shot. Play can continue and the officials can adjust the scoring later in the game, after reviewing the video. However, in late game situations, play may be paused pending a review. If a shooter is fouled while attempting a three-pointer and subsequently misses the shot, the shooter is awarded three free throw attempts. If a player completes a three-pointer while being fouled, the player is awarded one free throw for a possible four-point play. Conceivably, if a player completed a three-pointer while being fouled, and that foul was ruled as either a flagrant one or a flagrant two foul, the player would be awarded two free throws for a possible five-point play. Related concepts Major league lacrosse features a two-point line which forms a 15 yards arc around the front of the goal. Shots taken from behind this line count for two points, as opposed to the standard one point. In gridiron football, a standard field goal is worth three points. Various professional and semi-pro leagues have experimented with four-point field goals. NFL Europe and the Stars Football League adopted a rule similar to basketball's three-point line in which an additional point was awarded for longer field goals. In both leagues any field goal of 50 yards or more was worth four points. The Arena Football League awards four points for any successful drop-kicked field goal. During the existence of the World Hockey Association in the 1970s, there were proposals for two-point hockey goals for shots taken beyond an established distance arc, which would have intersected the face-off circles, but this proposal gained little support and faded after the WHA merged with the NHL. It was widely believed that long-distance shots in hockey had little direct relation to skill, Plus, with the lower scoring intrinsic to the sport a two-point goal was seen as disruptive of the structure of the game. The super goal is a similar concept in Australian rules football, in which a 50 meters arc determines the value of a goal. Within the arc, 
It is the usual six points, but nine points are scored for a super goal, scored from outside the arc. To date the super goal is only used in pre-season games and not in the season proper. The National Professional Soccer League 2, which awarded two points for all goals except those on the power play, also used a three-point line, drawn 45 feet from the goal. It has since been adopted by some other indoor soccer leagues. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?